Welcome back learners to our YouTube channel Robo Army. Today we are going to build our own DIY piano. Let's quickly go over the components you will need for this DIY piano project. First we have the Arduino board. Next we have 5 push buttons that will act just like a real piano key. Each button will trigger a unique note when pressed. 5 to 20 ohm resistors. One small buzzer that will be our speaker for the project. By changing the frequency, we can create different musical notes. Our breadboard, one USB cable, some jumper wires, a double battery holder with a DC power jack and switch, and two lithium ion batteries. Now let's look at the circuit diagram to see how everything connects. Now start with the Arduino board, place it on your workspace. Next we'll connect the five push buttons to the breadboard. Space them out evenly so each button has enough space. Connect one side of each button to the digital pins on the Arduino. Connect the first button to pin 2, connect the second button to pin 3, connect the third button to pin 4, connect the fourth button to pin 5, and finally the fifth button to pin 6. The other side of each button should be connected to ground rail with a resistor to ensure proper function. This pull down resistor ensures that the signal remains stable when the button is not pressed. Without the resistor, the input pin could float, causing unpredictable behavior, which we want to avoid. This also helps to ensure a solid op state when the button is not pressed. The ARDA terminal of this side of each button is connected to the positive rail of the breadboard. It creates a connection between the power rail and the Arduino pin, sending a signal to the Arduino that is it to play a specific tone. Next, we'll connect the buzzer, which will act as an output speaker. Attach the positive leg of the buzzer to pin 8 of the Arduino. Connect the negative leg of the buzzer to ground rail. Now we will need to provide power to our circuit. Connect the 5V pin from the Arduino to the positive rail of the breadboard. Connect the GND pin from the Arduino to the ground rail of the breadboard. That's it. Again verify your connection according to the circuit diagram. With our circuit setup, it is time to write some code. Download the code file by using the link provided in the description below. Now open the code file if you have already downloaded the Arduino IDE. Otherwise download the Arduino IDE first. First, we start by declaring the pins where we connect the push buttons and the buzzer. Each button is assigned a digital pin on the Arduino from pin 2 to pin 6. The buzzer is connected to pin 8 which will generate sound when a button is pressed. The setup function runs once when the Arduino is powered on. Here we use pin mode function to tell the Arduino how to handle each pin. All the button pins but 1, 2, but 5 are set as input because we want to detect when they are pressed. The buzzer pin is set as output so that it can generate sound when a button is pressed. The loop function runs continuously while the Arduino is powered on. Here we read the status of each button using the digital read function and the store it in variables b1 to b5. If the button is pressed, it returns high. If not pressed, it returns low. Now let's move to the main part of the code where the magic happens. For each button press, we check if the value is 1 button pressed. If it is, we use the tone function to play a specific frequency on the buzzer. For example, button 1 plays a tone of 300Hz, button 2 plays a tone of 500Hz, button 3 plays a tone of 700Hz and so on up to 1000Hz for button 5. The tone function takes three arguments. The buzzer pin which is pin 8 in our case, the frequency of the tone in Hertz and the duration 100 milliseconds in this case. Finally, we add a short delay of 10 milliseconds at the end of the loop. This ensures smooth playback of the tones and prevents multiple detections of button presses, making it easier to control the timing of the sounds. The loop function continues to run checking the button presses and playing the corresponding tones repeatedly. This means that as long as you press the buttons, the Arduino will generate the assigned tones, turning your simple circuit into a mini electronic piano. Now upload the code by following some instructions. Connect the USB Uno to your computer using a USB cable. Then go there, select the port in the same menu and select board that is Arduino Uno. Now upload the code by clicking the upload button. You can see the sketch is first verified by the compiler and then uploaded to the Arduino. Power the Arduino by using the batteries. Now let's see how our DIY piano works. When you press a button, the Arduino generates a corresponding musical note through the buzzer, turning this simple setup into a fun and functional piano. And that's it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching.